What are oligoclonal bands in myeloma? Oligo means a few, more than a couple. So uh, uh, normally in myeloma, we have a monoclonal protein band on electrophoresis, so it's like one size protein made by the myeloma. Sometimes a patient may have biclonal, like two different clones, or occasionally triclonal, but when there's several or a few or more, we call that oligoclonal. And that can be, and that's actually a good sign in most cases. So for example, if patients have gone through a stem cell transplant and three or four months later they have oligoclonal bands, that's actually a good prognosis. That means their immune, cell, their immune system is reconstituting. That, it's a sign of reinvigorating all of their T cell function, or, you know, their immune function um, and B cell function, plasma cell function. So those, those cells are reactivating and producing immunoglobulins probably to either pathogens or a vaccine. Even vaccines can cause these to show up as response to the vaccines or infections. Just can show a sign that they're re reacting, their immune system's responding and reacting to that. Um, so oligoclonal bands can be good, although it sometimes makes things difficult to know, is one of those part of the myeloma or is it not? Um, and so sometimes we'll have to send off a special test uh, for example, we can send a sample to the Mayo Clinic for mass fix to say, okay, is, is any of this um, their same band that they had from their myeloma in the past, or is it um, unrelated? You know, what subtypes are there? And um, kind of go from there. They usually gradually disappear. They might last for several months. And, you know, as long as they're not steadily rising, you know, like a myeloma protein, then they're usually not of any concern.